Okay, I wanted to show you a couple of things, uh, and this is the best uh, way for me to show them to you. Uh, let's talk about uh, SAP first, and then we'll talk about Tableau, which is part of our data analytics uh, work that we'll do. Uh, so if you're going out to SAP, you'll, create, you'll notice I've created a folder uh, out here in Blackboard. Uh, your assigned FS number is down here. So when you click on this, it'll open up an Excel file. Please make note of the FS number you've been assigned, FS02, FS03, whatever it happens to be. Uh, when you use it in SAP, it's going to be uppercase FS hyphen, hyphen is known as minus uh, zero 02. Um, I'm not going to click on it because I don't want to spend time on that. What I want to do is I want to show you uh, what you do with this FS number. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go to uh, one of two choices. You can either go to the computer lab or you can use uh, VMware. If you're unfamiliar with VMware, uh, all you have to do uh, is download Horizon uh, View Client. Uh, I'll show you here on mine what it looks like. Mine is View Client. I have VM View Client. I think believe the student's version or the latest version is Horizon VM View Client. Uh, but you can download it as a student for free, and it gives you access to the computer lab. Alternatively, too, you have uh, IT support for students. You can use that. Now, I've already VM VMwareed in from home, and this is where this is what you would see. Uh, if you VMware in, or if you virtualize in, or if you're sitting in the computer lab, you're going to be seeing this. So to get to SAP, you click on COBA menu, uh, clip, clip on accounting, and then uh, SAP logon. We're accessing SAP, accessing SAP with NetWeaver. Uh, we are using uh, this semester Perth. And let me caution you about something right now because a lot of times people will break their password. SAP gives you three shots to uh, get your password right. Uh, if you uh, mess up your password, then the administrator, in this case my, myself, I have to reset up your account, which is a big hassle for you because it can take a while depending on how busy I am and it can be a big, big hassle for me you know, to shut down and have to start doing it. Uh, I can tell you one of the reasons people bust their passwords is uh, they get their user name right, which that's their FS number, and they get their client, they get their password right, and they forget what the client is. Please, this semester, it is 400. So put in 400, uh, put in your FS number. Notice I'm doing uppercase. Okay. And then on the password, what it's going to do, you're going to do SAP for us. That's your default password. That'll be on the, when you look at the Excel spreadsheet, it'll show, uh, that's not any big secret. That's just a blank uh, password that everybody uh, uses to go in. As soon as you go in, as soon as you put SAP4, 4, 4 is the number 4, uh, all in uppercase, SAP for us. When you put it in here, as soon as you authenticate in, it's going to force you to change to a password that's yours. Please put this password, keep a copy of it, whatever. There's nothing sensitive about this information. So please make note of this password so that when you go in, you'll put your correct client number, you'll put in your cl correct client user ID, your FS number, and your correct password. Now I already have my password set up. Oops. Be careful. I've got caps lock on. When you have caps lock on, it'll screw with your password if you happen to make your password lowercase. Should be it. Okay, so now you're in SAP. Um, notice uh, that if you hit uh, SAP menu, you get this. You might, when you go in, see user menu. You might see this. If you see this, no big deal. Uh, you know, bear in mind you make this big. Uh, change it from SAP user menu to SAP me uh, to excuse me to SAP menu from user menu, and then this is these are the folders you'll be looking at. Uh, go, let me go back to here. When you go through the assignment, you'll notice these are just kind of warm-ups, you know, beginning with SAP, navigation, that kind of stuff. These are uh, really good videos that kind of give you a grounding what SAP can do. Uh, Gurjeet is a really good instructor. Here's your FS number. Uh, remember, this is about getting started. This shows you how to get started. Notice that we're using Perth and 400, so don't use something else. Uh, here you have a navigation, navigation tutorial. It is not turned in, but I can tell you that when you do the SAP accounting exercise, it will go easier if you can navigate through the system. 
Here's the actual assignment that you'll uh, do. Here's an image of what you should see when you complete stage five before you hit the very last submit. On stage five, uh, this is an image of what you should be seeing. If you don't see this, something is wrong upstream of the work that you've done. Um, but this is how you get to SAP, so I wanted to make sure I showed you that. Now let me show you how to get to Tableau. Kill this out. Kill this out. Uh, Tableau is kept in COBA menu, just like the others accounting, except now you're going to 5120. Okay, and here's Tableau 9.0. It can take a while to load the first time. Okay, uh, Tableau took about, uh, the very first time, it took about a minute and a half, two minutes. I decided to stop the recording so you wouldn't have a, that distraction. Uh, but here's Tableau. Uh, in the background, let me see. Hang on. Yeah, we clicked on Tableau. Here it is running in the background. Uh, what you do uh, when you're working with it, and there'll be a, a video posted to Blackboard that explains this, but basically you just bring in your Excel file like this. Okay. Uh, you will need the Excel file to be in some kind of place where you can access it. It's, uh, let me warn you, uh, the Titanic is a relatively big file, bigger than you would think, and so is Global Superstore. So just make plans through Cloud App or whatever technology you have to get access to the file. And when you click on the file, uh, I don't have it here because I, uh, you know, I don't have it saved anywhere except on my private uh, Dropbox. Uh, you bring it in, and when you bring it in and open it, then it pulls it into Tableau. Again, I'm getting ahead of myself because you need to watch the videos first. Uh, video is here. Notice we have a Tableau folder. The, this is a useful video that shows you how to work with Tableau. The, the, the video, by the way, will follow and do analysis of a workbook called Global Superstore. Here is Global Superstore. So Global Superstore is what you use inside of Tableau here. And, uh, and then what I'll actually have you work with uh, after you get comfortable with that is the Titanic Manifest. And the answers that come out of the Titanic Manifest is what uh, potential will be on the test. So that's uh, everything on that side. I just wanted to get you comfortable with what to expect. Let me go ahead and close the Tableau down. Uh, of what to do when you get to the desktop here because uh, I didn't want you lost. And everything you need basically is through COBA menu uh, and ACCT. Uh, either SAP Logon or 5120. Hope you found this useful.